Alright, so I think we all know that a good video is only as good as its audio. But what good is that audio if we can't monitor it well? Well, that's where these pair of earphones come in. So I just bought a new pair of earphones, but first, let's roll that B-roll. So this is the Soundrime SR5s. Now they come in pairs, obviously. Uh, they're not wireless, don't worry. They're actually wired. Let me put the wire on just to show you. There you go, wired earbuds. So these are actually called two-pin IEMs. IEMs stand for in-ear monitors, which I will start referring to them as IEMs now, not earphones. But you know, you would see these earphones used by you know musicians uh, in concerts. They will be using these kind of earphones because they're high fidelity and very high quality audio sounds. But you can use these. So the reason why I got this is because of that high fidelity. Um, you can use this for video editing, you can use this for your music editing, you can use this for gaming, and I use it on my camera, the FX30. If you watched my last video, I use these earphones to monitor my audio. But before I talk more about these earphones, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the technical specifications. So the Soundrime SR5 has a sensitivity of 108 decibels, plus minus three decibels, with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It has a 0.78 millimeter detachable cable and a DC resistance of 26 ohms. It has sound insulation effect of 30 decibels and its wearing method is wrapped in ear. Now I am actually just reading off this box because I have not I do not know much about audio. All I know is how to get good audio. So I'm gonna put this aside here. Now there's a few reasons why I decided to go for these IEMs instead of those bigger headphones, which I actually do own. I own the Audio-Technica ATH M40X, which is right here actually. So these pair of IEMs sound amazing when used for monitoring audio during productions on shoots, uh, for editing audio during post-production, and even for gaming. Like, I literally use these pair of earphones for gaming and it sounds fantastic. It is amazing. And since I can't show you audio, let me try to explain these SR5s the best way I can. I've never been one to enjoy headphones or earphones with heavy bass or heavy kick. And although these SR5s do have a little bit of a bass and a little bit of a kick, it does sound flat enough where I can still enjoy the music. And when monitoring audio during a shoot, it still sounds perfectly fine. It doesn't rattle me like the other headphones do and it doesn't really disturb my listening experience. It still sounds perfectly fine and audio sounds very, very controlled. Now for a little bit of context on what I mean by a heavy bass, one of the most popular headphones on the market right now is the Sony WH-1000XM4s. And I think it's XM5s now. Personally, I don't like it because of how bass heavy it is. I've tried it out myself and it's so bass heavy. And that's why I opted for the Audio-Technica M40Xs because they have a nice flatter profile and you can hear all the other instruments around it. Now, I don't consider myself as an audiophile, but I do enjoy a nice flat profile, listening to all the music, listening to all the instruments in the music, and being able to decipher what kind of instrument that is. But the issue I have with the Audio Technicas isn't actually the sound profile, it's actually the size. Now, going out on shoots, it's very difficult to fit these pair of headphones. Look, look at this, look at the size of this. It's very difficult to put this in the camera bag compared to putting this. It's so different. And also wearing glasses, having these headphones pinch your ears for a long period of time, starts, it's, it, it, it hurts because, you know, this part of the glasses, it just pinches your ear. It just hurts after a while and, you know, this is only if you're using these headphones for a long period of time. If you're using it for short periods of time, totally fine. But when I get in the zone of editing, I'm going to use these headphones or earphones for a long period of time. So I'd rather something that's comfortable and nice to use with good sounding audio. And that's where the SR5s come in because I find that the SR5s are actually a nice middle ground 
between the M40 Axis and the Sony 1000 XM45 because it has a, a, a nice bass, a nice enough bass, but it's flat enough where you can actually hear all the other instruments in a song, in a track. Now when you're on a shoot, it's always good practice to bring at least a pair of earphones with you because you never know if you need to monitor audio. Because if you do monitor audio, you gotta check and make sure that there's no surrounding sounds around you. And I'm glad the other day I actually did a shoot and I brought these SL5s with me and I was able to pick up this very slight static hum coming from the lapel mic. Actually, I don't know if it was a lapel mic or if it was from the refrigerator, but I was still able to pick that up and I'm glad that I actually do have the SR5s to, to pick that up for me. And I'm not saying that the M40Xs won't pick up the sound, the, that aesthetic hum that I heard, but you know, again, the main issue is the size of the M40X. Having the M40X on my head all the time, just uncomfortable after a while. You know, I never really enjoyed in-ears because of the silicon tips. And even with my AirPods, I actually use regular AirPods instead of the AirPods Pro because of those silicon tips. And the same goes with these IEMs. Now they come with memory foam tips, but even I don't use them because they always get funky smelling. And also the wax just sticks onto the memory foam tips, so that's not great. But I did get a pair of tips. I don't quite remember the name of the tips, but I did get them from hobbyvis.id in Tokopedia and they were fantastic. They really helped me out and these tips actually feel so much more comfortable in my ears and it doesn't hurt as much as the tips that come with the SR5s in the box. Now what I don't like about these IEMs is actually just a nitpick. I actually don't like the color of the cable and that's about it. I mean look at it. This is a black, it's a nice glossy black with a white cable. I'd rather if it comes with a darker color or a black, but obviously it didn't, but that's fine because fortunately these are detachable so you can change the cables as you want. So there are cables out there that you can find and they range from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars and it's actually insane. Now I tend not to use these IEMs when commuting on public transport due to safety reasons because these are really good at blocking out noise. They're very good noise suppressors. So I would use them on a plane, but not on a bus or a train. If I'm commuting to work or I'm commuting on a public transport, I would definitely just use my AirPods. And you know, just the convenience of having these AirPods, just opening it, con connecting to my phone, popping it off just to stop the music and having to talk to someone is just great. It's just easy, convenient, nice to use on a commute, daily commute. And maybe this matters to you, but the SR5s are made in China. Soundrhyme is a Chinese brand, but they definitely do not feel or sound like they are made in China. That sounds very offensive, but you know, you get what I mean. It doesn't feel plasticky, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels really nice and solid. Oh, and also it comes with two cases. It comes with this nice uh, faux leather case and this metallic circular case. So for this metallic case, it actually is meant just for the, uh, the tips, but you can remove the, the styrofoam and put the entire headphone there, uh, the entire earphone there. But I personally prefer the leather case just because of magnets. Magnets is always a good idea, guys. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these pair of IEMs. They're great for listening to music, they're great for editing, they're great for monitoring audio during productions, and they're definitely great for gaming as well. So for my Indonesian viewers out there, if you are watching this, you can go to hobbyvis.id on Tokopedia to go and grab a pair of these IEMs. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. They are not sponsoring this video. They did not tell me what to say. I, do, I did get it from them because they are fantastic people. They know everything there is to know about audio and you should definitely go check them out because they are fantastic. But what about you guys? Do you guys use IEMs or monitor headphones or just regular monitor speakers or even just cheap out on speakers? Please don't do that if you're editing. But let me know down in the comments below what you have, what you own, what you use. 
If you have a Samurai SR5, let me know what you guys think as well. But if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!